Hey guys, I'm back today with another design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I am using Stamping Bella's Party Girl. It's part of their new release. I'm taking my Gina K Amalgam ink to stamp up my image onto some Spectrum Noir cardstock using my Mini Misty. I'm going to color this girl in with my Copic markers. Spectrum Noir cardstock is great for alcohol markers and this ink for me, I've had good luck with this ink um, is good for alcohol marker coloring. I've heard a couple other uh, YouTubers say that it smears on them and it has smeared on me before but if I give it a second to kind of set in and dry I don't have any issues. So I go ahead and use this circle die from my stash. I'm not sure what brand it is. I be believe this was gifted to me by one of my subscribers. Um, well, I know it was. <clears throat> and there was no brand on it. So it is just a stitched circle die. You can find those anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and color her up real quick. This girl is part of Snape and Bella's new collection, like I said, that features several other girls. Um, the journaling girl, the donut girl, this one, the party girl, and then there are two other ones. One that is around plants, which I don't have. I have the other ones I just mentioned um, that I did in a recent haul video if you're interested in catching that. If you didn't, um, I'll link it above in the eye on the right hand corner. Um, so the other ones I have, the journaling girl and the Donut Girl are sold out, but Jamie does have a couple of these left if you're interested. She's really cute, um, and I had a lot of fun coloring her. Very easy to color. I don't consider myself great at coloring, um, especially when it comes to people. I have a hard time, um, more specifically hair, <laughs> and uh, her. Ha she has a lot of hair, so it was nice that it was kind of a larger space to color, but... Um, you know, she's good to practice coloring with if you are trying to get better at your coloring. Anyway, I kept the coloring fairly simple. I sped this up quite a bit. Spent quite a bit of time coloring her, trying to get my color combos correct. If you go on Pinterest and look at this stamp set, there is one. It was a design. Well, I say Pinterest, but I think Jamie has it on her website if you click through the photos because this person I believe is on the design team for Stamping Bella and she created this shirt that she put like animal print pattern and then the, she drew in like a bra strap and then cleavage oh my gosh it's so cute but it's cute because the the animal print is so unique I would never think to do that but um you know there's just a bunch of dimension in that image where I'm fine. I'm happy with the way I colored mine, but it, in a way it's kind of flat. Um, so I, it was, it's so cute. And that image is really what kind of sent me over the edge to purchase this stamp. I do hope Stampy Bella comes out. They always have their little cute collections, the butterflies, the little, um, Oh goodness. The girls that are real tall. They have like these really long legs. I don't know what collection that is. Um, and then this one appears to be a new one. So I hope they come out with more. It's like mo mochi girls. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But really cute if you haven't checked it out yet. So I, it'll be linked below. And if you do purchase anything from the Not Too Shabby Shop, don't forget to use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK to save 10% off your order, which is always nice. To save a little money, at least that's the tax, if you're charged tax. And she does ship internationally, so you can use that coupon code anywhere in the world. Here I'm just finishing up her hair. And then I will add um, the countertop or the bar she has her elbows resting on. I attempted to make it look like wood grain. I don't know. Um, and then I do add a like blue, use a light blue marker to add kind of a highlight around her. And I'll say with with images like this, I it's like adorable. I love it. I color them. They're perfect. I buy them, and in a way, I kind of collect them. But trying to come up with card ideas is really hard for me with these types of images. But I'm really happy with how the card turned out. So if you struggle with that too, um, you know, I, I think my design is pretty 
pretty simple and works really well. Here I am trying to create wood grain. It really doesn't look like wood grain, but whatever. <laughs> and here I'm going over the edges of her with a light blue marker to add just a little bit of coloring so the background is not so white. The card I was referring to earlier where the design team member colored the shirt with the animal print, she created a beautiful background too. I mean, the card is spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> Here I am using Stampin' Up's Old Olive card base, cardstock. And then this pattern paper is Poppy. I don't, I don't know exactly what the pattern paper is. It'll link, be linked below, but it is Stampin' Up as well. I'll have a video coming out with... Um, either five or ten cards, I'm not sure yet, but using this pattern paper in this suite that this pattern paper belongs to if you're interested. So stay tuned for that. I am just popping up this girl. I did add some ribbon just for an extra little touch. Pop her up, trim the this edge off. And then one of the tailored expressions stamp sets, the strips, I stamped out a long time ago, heat embossed in white, and then cut them out and then set them aside. So I'm like, I'm just going to pull from that and see what I have. And I had this one, Pops Fizz, Pop Fizz Clink Cheer, and it worked out perfectly. Then I added some gemstones. So if you're interested in any of the products I use, they will be linked below. Please let me know what you think of this card and this new collection from Stampin' Bella. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!